A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed this week with 43,434,157 shares, or 7,058,296 Bahraini dinars, conducted through 346 transactions. Investors traded in 24 companies. 11 companies witnessed a rise in shares, 7 fell, and the rest maintained their shares. The investment was the leading sector, and the commercial banks came in second. Saudi Arabia showed its first commercial film in 35 years. Residents in Riyadh attended the private viewing of the latest Marvel's movie Black Panther. The screening will be followed by a rush to build movie theaters in major cities and tickets will go on sale on Thursday for public showings on Friday. The US-based AMC was granted the first license to operate a cinema in Saudi Arabia in a deal signed earlier this month in California. The Kingdom says there will be 300 cinemas with around 2,000 screens built by 2030. There are 32 million people here in Saudi Arabia. It's the 20th largest economy in the world. We know that there are avid moviegoers in Saudi Arabia. They haven't been able to go to movies at cinemas in Saudi, but they go to Bahrain and Dubai and London and New York to watch movies. They also watch movies at home, on their televisions, on, the, on satellite, streaming. But movies are meant to be seen in a theater, on a big screen. And we think we're going to be sold out from as soon as we open. On the final day of trading for the week, the Dubai financial market finished the session slightly lower after opening on 3,087.56 points yesterday. The main index fell steadily before regaining some lost ground before the close. It finished at 3,082.09, a drop of 0.18%. Marca was the biggest gainer, adding 3.76%. Amar Development added 2.04%, and investment company at Rams lost 2.03%. The IMF is warning that rising trade tensions between the U.S. and China risk undermining a solidly growing global economy. Uh, the IMF uh, forecast growth this year and next year at 3.9 percent, which is more than the 3.7 percent that you may have heard about back in October. It's clearly a pickup in our projection and we maintain it this year and next. The momentum has been driven by stronger investment and a rebound in trade. It is broad-based and it involves the US, Europe, Japan, China, as well as many other emerging and developing countries. U.S. President Donald Trump is praising the strength of the economy and his tax overall at a business roundtable event in Florida. He says the country is starting to really rock with businesses coming back to the country and corporations facing few regulations. He says next year, once the tax law is fully implemented, filing a federal return will be simple and easy to do. And you see what's happened to your wallet. I mean, you're getting a lot more money in your weekly or monthly checks than you ever thought possible. So people are really liking it, and very importantly, it's great for the country. Our taxes were the highest or among the highest, but just about, I would say, Marco, they were the highest in the world from a business standpoint. That's why businesses were leaving. Now, they're not the lowest, but they're on the low side, and businesses are pouring back into the United States, and that means jobs.